Hello class, how are you? It's Mr. Yellow Robe. This is our final read aloud of the year. I'm going to read a native Hawaiian children's book to you. It is called How How Became Halua. It's a great story about four sisters and particularly about how and how she learns some great things about herself. As I'm reading this story, I want you to think about the many great things that you know about yourself and not only share those thoughts with yourself, but also share it with a family member or anyone else that you know, because I'm pretty sure that we all know those great things about you as well, but we'd love to hear those uh, from you uh, so that we, we might be able to talk about that. So I hope to see a uh, see you again in the fall time uh, when we get back to school and until then you all have a great summer and I hope that you had a great school year. How How Became Haula. How was the youngest of four sisters. Her kaikuana or older sisters were known throughout the land for their stunning beauty. Niu, my trunk stands tall and majestic, said Niu, the Iapo. My gentle leaves sway to and fro. Hey, nu ni, no ho i kau, I must be beautiful. Puhala, my trunk is straight and sturdy, said Puhala, the second kaikuana. My clusters of leaves wave in the wind. Hey, u i no ho i kau, I must be gorgeous. Lehua, my trunk is strong and firm, said Lehua, the other kaikuana. My brilliant red flowers attract many birds. He he I, he no ho i kau, I must be charming. How the muli loa thought very differently of herself. My trunk is wild and crooked. My big leaves always fall to the ground. He pupu ka. No ho i kau, I'll never be beautiful like my kaikuana. Niu could do all kinds of things. With her leaves, she made papele, baskets, and brooms. With her fruit, she made juice, oil, and viu. Puhala could do all kinds of things. With her leaves, she made moena, hats and sails. With her fruit, she made paintbrushes, medicine, and lei. Lehua could do all kinds of things. With her flowers and leaves, she made lei, tea, and dye. With her trunk, she made instruments, canoes, and hale. How, on the other hand, did not know what she could do. My flimsy leaves flap around in the wind, she said to herself. All the kids laugh at me and stomp on my branches. Jaw! One day, the four sisters and their parents went to a family anina. And as usual, their makua asked each of the sisters to dance a hula. Nia went first, Pahula was second, Lehua was third. The three, Kaikuana, danced beautifully. How was last? She trembled with nervousness and forgot her motions. Her Kaikuana began to laugh and tease her. They called out, Nali Luli, Nali Luli, because How was so shaky and unsteady. Three Kaikuana were scolded by their parents, but they continued to tease How. And that evening, How walked home very Kamaha. She wondered why her sisters were so beautiful from head to toe, yet so mean and ugly inside. And she wondered why she was so worthless and awkward. And How cried herself to sleep. And as she lay sleeping on her moi, a kapuna wahine appeared to her in a dream. My dearest how, iholo himai, you are so beautiful and have many gifts to share. But my leaves make a mess, how sobbed. 
Kikai stomp on my branches. Everybody laughs at me. You don't know this, said the gray-haired Kapuna, but children love to play in your branches and leaves. You bring joy and laughter to many, my dear How. Listen to me. When you realize your gifts and inner beauty, you will truly blossom. And the next morning, as the bright Lao rose in the east, How's tears began to dry. She smiled at her memory of what the Kapuna had shared. And maybe children will like playing with me, she thought. Maybe my next hula will be better. And she felt a change in her. And where she once felt empty and worthless, she now felt confident and hopeful. The change inside began to show on the outside how his plain green leaves had turned red. And now there grew some, among the red leaves a bright yellow flower. And later that morning, Hao's Ohana gathered again to eat the leftover Mei Ei. As Hao greeted them with a big smile, her Kaikuana noticed something different. Oh, Hao, Kila, they asked each other. Is that our youngest sister? It's like she changed overnight. Niu, Pahula, and Lehula were amazed at Hao's quiet strength and confidence. And as they danced Hula together, all eyes were now on Hao. She was poised and graceful, like an eel soaring in the clear sky. Her beautiful red leaves danced in the wind. Her yellow flower was now joined by more flowers, some yellow, some orange all glistening in the sunlight. Because of her red leaves, Hao was given a new name, Hao Ula, or Red Hao. Hao made lei, dye, and medicine with her leaves and flowers. And with her branches, she made rope, fishing tools, and lupe. Hao began to see that she had many gifts to share, just like the wise Kapuna said, she now understood her unique ability to bring joy and laughter to others. And most of all, she learned that true beauty comes from within. Well, hello class. This was our last read aloud for the year. I'm glad that I could share this wonderful Hawaiian story with you. If you noticed during the story that I was uh, alternating between Hawaiian and English, that was one of my favorite parts of the story is that I got to learn some Hawaiian words and sentences and share them with you during the story. As you read the story, do you remember the one or two wonderful things about you that I asked you to think about? If you could take a second or two and turn to someone else or even just tell yourself what is that really wonderful thing about you. Like I said at the beginning of the story time, I said the thing that uh, I like best about myself and the most wonderful thing is, is how patient I am. So take a moment and think to yourself, what is that one wonderful thing about that you like about yourself? I'm pretty sure we all know that, as you do. And I look forward to seeing all of you again next year uh, in your classroom uh, with uh, the first and the second grade next year. If you're in the second grade now, you'll be in the third grade and I won't see you in class anymore, but I hope to see uh, you in your new school building. And you all have a wonderful summer and I will see you next fall when we continue our monthly read aloud in each of your classes.